Hey guys, it's Ogie Bay, and today I want to talk to you about Art Block. When Art Block hits, it can be really hard to pick up your pen and try again. It's frustrating when that piece you were working on or that idea in your head just isn't coming out how you hoped. It sucks, and it puts a damper on your whole creative mindset, and now you can't draw or do anything because you're just getting mad. Art Block has made me not do art for days or months, and sometimes I've even had full years go by before I've done anything, and even then it's not big or challenging. And unfortunately, that's not the right way to improve your skill. Letting Art Block stop you from doing art really sucks, but then trying to push yourself to make art just upsets you more, and now you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, because either way, you're just getting mad at yourself. But here's the secret. Much like when a video game starts to get harder the more you go through it, your art and skill is trying to level up to match the way your creative eye is going. Are you noticing your eyes aren't matching up like they used to, or your noses seem to be coming out slightly off now? You're leveling up in art, and your hands just have to work a little to catch up to that skill. Which definitely sucks, and it's hard to push yourself when everything is just coming out wrong. But you have to look at that negative and turn it on the other side. Your body is improving at art. You're now noticing these little things that were off because your anatomy is improving. And when art block hits, it means you're getting better, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. I used to play softball, and one of the biggest things we get told while practicing is to push through the pain, which really just means that your body is getting tired from working and you have to push yourself to keep going because that's where you're going to get better and that's where the improvement comes from. Some good ways to push through art block are to study references. Go on Pinterest, look at old photos on your phone, stare at art you love and notice how they draw certain things. Watch videos of other artists' tutorials, go to a museum or out to a park if that's something that gets your blood going. But figuring out what's going on with your art is the first way to improve it. And the best way to do that is just to look at references and then compare your art to the references and see how it's matching up. After you've done that and kind of figured out what's going on, you should dedicate a space in your sketchbook to what's bothering you. Having trouble with the lips? A whole spread is now different ways you can draw lips. And look up tutorials online and DeviantArt and Pinterest are great places to find tutorials. And the trick is to adapt them into your art style and make them work for you. And take your face or whatever it is you're improving and put that tutorial into use. See how you can make it work for you. And if it's not helping, move on. Find a new tutorial and see if that helps better. And if you're doing all of this and things still just aren't looking right, ask a friend, a Tumblr buddy, people on Twitter. Sometimes we can't pinpoint what's going on exactly, but a fresh eye can tell you that, hey, that nose is just looking a little bit big. One of my biggest challenges when going through art block is knowing what's wrong, but not being able to fix it. So what I like to do is I'll either print out uh, like photos of heads, or open them up in my art program, and just start drawing over them. I notice where the nose goes, how the eyes are shaped, where the head is, where the neck meets the head, all these little things, and then I put that into use in my own drawings. And the biggest thing to do is to remember that not all of your art needs to go up on to Tumblr or wherever your art posting site is. You don't have to do every single sketch as if it's going to be seen by millions of people on the internet. Sometimes you just need a day and just dedicate to how is my nose going to fit into this piece of art? How are my eyes going to look if I decide to have my person looking upwards? And having that time and being able to just dedicate that and not worrying about, well, what are other people going to think is definitely a great way to improve your art and get better without the pressure of so many people are going to see this. I think definitely part of that is once you've figured out what's going on, you have to retrain your hands to do what your eyes want them to do, which is probably the most frustrating part of it all. Like, I know my noses can be too big, but my hands just can't see the drawing the size I want them to be, which is where retraining comes in. You have to reteach yourself, and depending where you are in art, that can be really difficult. Sometimes I know, like, my noses should be up. I'll get told by people, like, hey, you should move your, up, your nose up a little more. And I know this, but then my, my hand goes to draw it, 
and there it is, still too low or still too big and still just not in the right spot. And of course it's frustrating, but I wanna get better and I wanna improve. So I spend that time and I work on it and I think my noses are starting to get just a little bit better. And if you're doing that and you're in that point where you're like, I don't know if I can do this because every time I try, everything just kind of goes back to how it was. You've done this before. If you go back to your art you did years ago and look at it now, I'm sure you'd see improvements. Even if it's just little things like the eyes aren't so far apart and your body's have more movement and you don't try to tie your hands as much anymore because seriously those things are really hard to draw and when you first start they're pretty much impossible. But you've done all this before and you can do it again. Getting better at anything requires work and art is no exception. Those artists you admire, every one of them had and still has their own art blocks. They still have days where they get frustrated at their art, but they push through it. They take breaks when needed, study more, and don't let their art block stop them from making art, even when they don't want to do it anymore. When you reach that point in your own art journey, when you've hit an art block, take a second to celebrate. You've done it. You're getting ready to level up. So what you just need to do is regroup, refocus, inspire yourself, and push through. You're getting there. I promise. Sugar, there's a 